So we are still working hard to educate the world about the nanny profession. Interestingly, that concept of childcare as a profession is still a battle, if you like, that we're still waging today because childcare is still viewed in society as low status and generally low paid, not our graduates, thankfully, but um, we've, we're still fighting that. One, two, three. We joke that um, our Noel and Nannies are the only ones that can afford to buy a flat in London. I mean, we outstrip medical graduates and accountants. People are definitely shocked by how much they hear that a nanny can make. No, I do not know of any of my other friends that were going to be making this much. Begin CPR. These are no ordinary nannies in training. These are Norlanders. Norland has been around for 130 years. We have a very strong and positive reputation for excellence. Norland College in the British city of Bath is known for educating elite nannies. Many go on to work for high profile clients, including celebrity and even royal families. We offer a core cool three year BA degree in early childhood education and care. We've retained the practical elements that were first set up way back in 1892. But we've made sure over time that the curriculum remains relevant to the current era. So we now have a very cutting edge 21st century curriculum. Of course, traditional nannying skills, such as cooking and sewing, are still taught. But Norlanders also learn self-defence, advanced driving, and cyber security. And this is where we get jokes around James Bond meeting Mary Poppins. But what we are doing is raising their awareness. I need to come underneath. They see I've trapped her arms. Okay. Personal safety is something that reaches all of us now. So, for example, we had some graduates who were caught up in the Westminster attack. She was stuck there inside one of the museums, I understand, for about four to six hours. And she had to look after this young child, but she was able to stay calm and able to support the child. The other interesting thing about the brain is that there are more connections in each individual brain than there are stars in the Milky Way there wouldn't have been anything about brain development back in 1892. But of course, we now know how important the early years is. We literally are laying the foundations for all future development. In that sense, it shows how important it is that we get it right. This class is about to finish their third year. So our fourth year is a probationary type year. It's called NQN, Newly Qualified Nannies. That year is basically a paid year, the salary year, whilst we're still in training. And that's amazing compared to so many different people I know that you sort of come out and it's a bit uncertain. Whereas I know that we've got the Norland Agency to help us find a job. We have 100% employability, but not just that, we are able to offer above average salaries. Our students average within a year of graduation about 40,000 pounds. But within five years, they're probably averaging 50K plus, 65K, upwards. So we do have positions at the moment in the 100k region. The prospect of earning that much money attracts a lot of applicants, around 240 for only 100 places a year. There are always some that come in with that intention, but it shines out at interview. We've been doing this, not personally, but for 130 years. <laughs> so we do know and we can see those that have a genuine passion. This I feel like I've always had the kind of passion to care for people because seeing my mum adopt myself and my three sisters has really shown me that caring for people can literally change people's lives. A lot has changed since Norland was established in 1892, but male students are still a rare sight. Currently, I would say it's probably only about 5% male applicants. Things are slowly changing. For example, we just recently introduced our first gender neutral uniform. We have a whole diverse society and we think we should be generating students that reflect that diversity. I would love to see more men in early years. I mean, my day kind of looks like playing with Lego, playing with Star Wars. How cool is that? There's, I think a lot of people think um, childcare is girly as such but I'm just, a, I'm just a regular guy and I absolutely love it. <laughs>
for many of them, they will work short time as a nanny, set themselves up financially, and then move on to do something different. Because they study for a degree here, there are lots of postgraduate opportunities for them. And of course, many of them are entrepreneurs, so they will start their own businesses. One. Okay, then you going down. I think being a nanny is really empowering. I really pride myself in not only just taking like, and looking after the child, but also feeling empowered to also share with the family the different tips and tricks that I've learned. No! Any part we can play in raising that status and raising the value of home childcare means that we have perhaps helped to change societal attitudes towards the, the role of women's work or childcare in general.